Hey, welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're new. My name is Chloe and I am currently an undergrad doing English literature and creative writing. I'm going into my second year and I'm actually really excited because I've had way too much time off. It's just going so long and it's just really annoying. Thumbs up if you agree. You just want to go back to uni. I never thought I'd be saying those words but just, just take me back. <laughs> Today I'm going to be showing you how I did this little look here. I did a post on Instagram just saying anyone would like a tutorial on this and obviously I don't have that much of a following so I didn't really think many people would say it I was gonna do it anyway but actually quite a few people said they would like the tutorial so I'm doing that for you today and that's why my base is already done so yeah let's get into it okay so obviously my eye is eyes are already primed that's because I did my base so I will just go straight into the eyeshadow but if you're gonna do this I, I highly suggest you prime your eyes. I usually use a concealer and plop it all over and then set it with a powder and I do that to make it one it, it makes the, the concealer will make your eye color or your eyelid the whole the whole eyelid you'll set the same color so there's no like discoloration and the setting is gonna make your eyeshadows blend so much easier so much better so I highly suggest you do that colors I mainly used for the brown look were in this palette the Too Faced palette I also have my Colourpop my Colourpop single eyeshadows in Tiki and Paper Tiger that I used so that's what I use for those brown eye you obviously don't have to go out and buy these eyeshadows to make this look if you have any yellows and browns and I can't remember. yeah if you've got yellows and browns then you can do it so to start off I'm just going to talk about the brushes I use I only really use three brushes for the top of my or the lid of my eyes and to blend I use my Morphe G17 this is a really nice just, just a normal fluffy brush and it's, it's real nice and for my crease I use my Morphe E18 this is really good for just just your crease it's just kind of a smaller and denser version of the one before and then for my lid I just use this normal flat brush. I'm going to first dip into Tiki. It's this really pretty yellow. It's kind of like a, I want to say like a banana yellow and it's beautiful. It's, so yeah, it has got like little sparkles in it but I find that once you blend it on your eye and blend it out you can't really see it so keeping it quite high up I'm just going to blend it all over my, not all over my lid but you know, the top. So the same with like other things I've said, it's easier to start with less and add more than try and take it away. So I will start small, so obviously this doesn't look like much, and then I'll just keep adding more. Just because it's easier to add than take away, so. And then, I don't know if you can tell in the photos, but the colours that were on the lid here was going on the underline here. So what I was doing was just using a small brush, kind of like and going at the same time using the colours rather than afterwards so now I've done this yellow I'm just gonna go under my other eye with that colour and just kind of kind of the same as we did on this eye I'm kind of blowing it out a bit because it's gonna show through the brown and like you can do this with loads of other colours you know so as you can see now I've got, got the yellow on both sides so you, obviously you can do this with like all different colours you can choose what you like I did this probably about two days later with blue, bluey green and like pinky purple eye and did the same kind of, you know, like underneath and it looked real sick. The reason I'm doing the brown and pink today is because I really like the contrast, I really like the different look it gave. Normally, you know, if you're doing a pink eye, it looks a bit more flirty and cute. If you do a brown eye, it looks a bit more smoky and grungy. So the two of them together was such a contrast and I loved it. So that's why I'm doing these today. So I'm just going to take this blending brush and take it under here just to make sure it's all blended out. Hmm. Now I'm going to go into Paper Tiger. This is just going to deepen my crease a little bit, add a bit more depth. This is a bit more of like a mustardy yellow colour. My, my nails. But yeah, this is a bit more like mustardy colour. It's not completely mustard, but it is, you know, it's not as yellow as the other one. And it's absolutely stunning. And I'm going to do that with my E18 that I was saying about. Good tip for eyeshadow and blending is don't hold your brush like here. It's not a pencil. If you do this, it's just going to look so much harsher. Hold it as low down as you can. And this makes blending look way more pretty. So I'm just kind of, you know, windshield wipers back and forth, making sure it all blends. 
and then just back with that brush again just to blend them together. I'm just going with that little brush in the same colour on the underneath on this eye. But I'm not going to go as out because like with this, the yellow is like kind of like a shadow. I don't know how really how to say it. So I'm going to keep closer to my waterline here. Like so. But again, I'm just going to go underneath. I always, always use this brush when doing my eyeshadow. Even if it looks fine, I'm still going to go in and do like an insurance blend. Okay, so then I'm going to go for the lid. I believe I used Charmed, I'm sure, in the Too Faced sweet peach palette and just patted it on my lid just patting this all over my lid obviously at the moment it doesn't look great but we will sort that so it's like that at the moment obviously it doesn't look nice I'm gonna go in with this brush in the same color and what I'm doing is gonna blend it into my crease I think I might have sprayed the brush before putting this brown on just because it's not looking that great there it is that's definitely what I did Okay, and then I'm just doing what I was speaking about a minute ago, going into the same colour with this and just blending out, blending it through the crease so there's no like harsh, harsh lines, just so it blends up. With that brush again, I'm just going to take the brown and I'm going to stay out on the outer edge. So I'm going to move on to the next eye and to do that I did, I did mainly use this. I mainly used this and I think I definitely used some colours from my brights my NYX Brights eyeshadow palette. Okay, so when doing the pink eye, for my blending colour, I was using the Candy Peach, and even though you can see there are sparkles in that, it's the same as the yellow one, same as the yellow one from Colourpop. It has sparkles, but then once you blend out, you can't really see them. So I'm just gonna take some of that, do the exact same thing as I did with Tiki. Again, taking it higher up than I probably need to. And as you can see, you can't really see the sparkles in it. It looks like a matte shade. So I'm just going to use this brush again. And I'm going to go into Candied Peach and do my eye here. The same way I did the yellow one. And again, just with the Morphe G17, so my blending brush, I'm just going to make sure there's no harsh edges. So then with my E18, I'm going, going to go into this kind of pinky neon colour in my NYX Brights. It looks a lot brighter than it is, or at least that makes it sound bad. It's, you can control it. You can control how bright it is by just dipping in a little bit. Just a little bit. You only need a little bit. So that's what I do. I kind of just, and then just put it in the crease. See what I mean? It doesn't look as like in your face bright fuchsia. And again, just going in with the Morphe brush just to do a nice little blend, make sure there's no harsh edges. And then with that small brush again, I'm just going to go into that like, bright pinky colour. And do the same as I did with Paper Tiger. I'm going to do the same as this, but stick closer to my waterline, so. And then with my blending brush, I'm just going to blend that out. So for the lid of this eye, I used, it looks like, normally I've been like, you know, I binge on Bellini, but it looks like I used Just Peachy which is a beautiful pink with like kind of like champagne-y undertones. It's stunning. I love it. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I use that. So the same again, I'm using this flat brush and I'm going to spray this a Pixie Glow Tonic because this is like a glowy setting spray. So it's going to help bring the shimmer out in that. Two sprays that on there. And when I spray my brushes, I do two sprays, but then I also press it against some fabric just so it's not too wet. Sometimes it can kind of like ruin the eyeshadow. Going into Just Peachy, press it onto my lid. And then even though this one doesn't need it as much, I'm still gonna go, I'm still gonna take my E18, go in the same colour and blend it through my crease. With that small brush, I'm gonna take just peachy. But rather than put it on the outside here, I'm gonna put it on the inside just because with shimmery colours, you're gonna stay on the inside. So that's the eyeshadows done. For the liquid eyeliners, what I did, and this is a trick that you can do if you want a coloured eyeliner but you haven't got a coloured eyeliner. If you have a brush like this, you can quite easily, a liquid lipstick, which is what I did, and I took this brown, because it's the one that matched this eye the most. I've got some product on here, and I'm just going to do an eyeliner like I normally would. The only thing with this brown is I find that it kind of just looks like a dull black, 
Whereas the other one obviously looks like it was meant to look like that. But I don't really have any darker browns, so. And the reason you want to use liquid lipsticks and not just any lipstick is because liquid lipstick obviously dries down, whereas normal lipstick doesn't, so you're gonna get transfer and creasing. So you're best to just, if you haven't got the colour eyeliner you want, just go out and get it in a liquid lipstick. Okay, so that looks like dog shit, I don't know why. Oh, I remember now. What I did is, I let this dry, and then I put this colour on top of it. But whilst that dries, I'm going to do this eye. For this eye, I use the NYX Mondrian Corset. And for the other eye, I'm going to be using Line Crimes. I don't know what it is, if it's a metallic or what, in Blondie. Just doing the exact same thing, just coating that brush. By the way, this is like lip brush, which is like you put lipstick on. So I'm just going to be doing the exact same thing. So now I'm sure this side is dry, yes you can see it's dry and I can feel it's dry. So I'm going to take the product off my brush and then go into Charmed I'm Sure in my Sweet Peach palette. Just going to get loads of eyeshadow on there and just go over this colour. That's that eye done. And then with the same brush, and I'll spray it with some of the Pixi Glow Tonic this time. I'm gonna go into Just Peachy and go over this side. Okay, so th this is the eyeliner done. Could've been better, but could've been worse. So, um, I haven't got any fake eyelashes at the moment, but what I've been doing is putting the NYX Milk Pencil all over my eyelashes. Kind of like those mascaras you used to get where you'd coat them in white first and then put scar on second. So that's what I've been doing just to make them look a bit better. And then I'm just going to put some on my waterline as well just to make my eyes look a bit more open. 19p mascara I got from Tarte to go over top. And then I'm going to let them dry like a little tiny bit before I put another coat on. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do my eyebrows. Just going to put a little comb. Okay, so I've kind of just like drew on the end. I've been into this real natural brow <laughs> recently. So I'll do the end and then I kind of comb the product through as best I can just to kind of like blend them in a bit. And then I'm just gonna use the MUA brow gel. I'm just gonna run this through my brow hairs. That's the brows are done. I'm just gonna put another coat of mascara on. And there we go. Obviously this does look a lot better with false eyelashes. I think it needs like more of a dramatic look, but those are the eyes done. For my lips, what I'm going to do is just quickly line them. Okay, so they're lined now. And what I did to make it kind of cohesive with the eye look is I'll just use the same liquid lipsticks. So I'll pop that all over. Kind of wait for that to dry a bit. Taking this one, just going to pop it in the middle. And because this doesn't pop that much, I don't know why, I think it's because it's on the brown. I'm going to take Just Peachy from the Peach palette and just pop it on top of there. And that looks So this is the finished look. And I personally really love it. Like I said, I love the contrast between like, you know, the pretty pink and then like the grungy brown. I also like how this one's like matte and this one's shimmer. And I just love, you know, mixing it up a bit. Comment down below if you like it. And if you try it, please let me know. Send me some photos or, you know, whatever. Just show me in person because I probably know you. I would love to see, you know, remakes of this and how people change it and stuff like that. That'd be cool. But yeah, if you like this, then please give it a like, please comment, please share, and I will see you next week. Bye.